this heart line this topmost uh, major line marked on our palm represent the scope of the heart line can be understood on the basis of three principle first is the physical aspect this line tells about the physical condition of the heart second is the psychological aspect this line tells about how you relate to others on an emotional level you know your innermost feelings and third is the spiritual aspect this line also tells about you know all those uh, writers and high virtues and traits like of compassion you know um, forgivingness surrender you know sacrificing yourself to the to the higher goals higher deeds all the humanitarian pursuit can also be studied by the scrutinization of this heart line we have also discussed that uh, you know contrary to the claims of the majority of the palmist this line originate from over here close to the mount of the jupiter and mount of the saturn and it terminates under little finger on the mount of the mercury and it is also very important to study the origin of the heart line because it tells about what motivates the desire in an individual to get into an emotional relationship you know because just because the foundation the you know the pedestal from where the heart line is originating so what kind of energy is infusing the emotions the inspiration so whether it is the you know intensive and aggressive energy of the planet mars or whether it is the spiritual and righteous traits of the planet jupiter or whether it is the cold and you know kind of aloof qualities of the planet saturn which is infusing the emotions and feelings in the heart line so that is the only reason why it is very important to study the origin of the heart line so now we are going to start our discussion on the origin of the heart line on the mount of the saturn so very first thing which you people need to understand is what does planet saturn represent so the chief attributes assi assigned to planet saturn are first it represents hard work it represents sobriety you know wisdom it also represents your capacity for planning and research and in negative aspect this planet also you know represents pessimism uh, negative thinking suicidal thoughts even the accidents are seen from an afflicted planet saturn or the mount of the saturn on your palm you know uh, the palmistry and astrology always goes hand in hand when it comes to astrology like the way i have already explained the position the placement of the planet saturn in your astrological chart tells about you know all those areas in your life where you will get tested in this lifetime so let's say if the placement of the saturn is the pl uh, third house which represents uh, you know your uh, younger siblings so your relationship and your terms with your siblings will get tested in this lifetime same ways the, uh, the this is the same kind of role which even planet saturn plays in palmistry as well you know the planet saturn the middle finger and the mount of the saturn which is known as the balancing wheel of the hand so this is the role of the planet saturn to check whether all other planets are doing their job in a prescribed way or not to infuse proper seriousness in them so that a the jupiter would not make someone very ambitious it will not make you know whether a mercurian person is not in order to fulfill his you know materialistic pursuit is not becoming too shrewd in his approach in business and you know same ways a luna person so this is a luna portion a luna person is not be becoming too imaginative and you know one more thing one more uh, symmetry of astrology and palmistry is that like the way all other planets on our palm gets judged so planet jupiter gets judged on the basis of how risen this mount is how full this mount is same is the way the uh, mount of mercury and the mount of apollo gets judged but when it comes to the mount of the saturn you know it is being exempted on the judgment parameter that it will get judged on the basis of fullness or risenness this is a flat mount and same is the way the kind of nature the planet saturn carries it is a cold it is a very aloof kind of uh, uh, planet and this is the kind of nature which it infuses in someone who is deeply in the uh, influence of planet saturn so now coming to the part where we have to discuss what would remain to be the case when the heart line would originate from the uh, um, mount of the saturn so the first case is when you'll find the heart line so we are going to uh, uh, you know embrace the same kind of approach which we did at the time of studying the origin from the uh, mount of the jupiter and the mount of the inner mars so let's say for example this is the mount of saturn so what we are going to do is we are going to divide it in three equal worlds so first is the satva world second is the rajas world and third is the tamas world so what is going to happen is that when you will find the heart line to be originating deep on the satva world so this is just going to infuse all those arch type qualities of the planet saturn in someone's matters of the heart how they are going to feel for others so what is going to happen is that in all those hands where the heart line is originating from the satva world these people would remain to be you know kind of little bit self absorbed you know their they would face problem when it comes to uh, you know empathizing other person's plight or you know relating to other people's situation or what other person is going through so that is the only reason when it comes to forming a profound deep relationship with these kind of people they will face problem because 
other people would not be able to relate to themselves on a deeper level just because of this kind of uh, you know bar which these people have set because of their own you know giving priority to to their own thinking and to their own feelings so this is with the case when you'll find the heartline to be originating deep on the satwa world of the mount of the saturn so this is the world this is going to tell about someone who will remain to be too self absorbed next is when you'll find the heartline to be originating on the rajas world so what would happen is that these people in any case would remain to be very independent but they will set their own terms and they will you know in even in relationship in the matters of the heart affections there would remain to be a tinge of materialism so whenever it comes to forming any partnership and even the relationship with their nearer and dearer ones and even with their partners they would just intend to evaluate it on the material terms so how much profit is this relationship is going to bring into their life or what kind of financial gain is this relationship is going to bring into their life those would remain to be their benchmark which would again create a hurdle in forming a harmonious and you know kind of a smooth relationship with people so the first was self absorbed second was the person is little bit of selfish next is when you'll find the heartline to be originating from the tamas world so this is the kind of case with majority of the palmist declare for the all other kind of formation or wheresoever heartline is originating with soever world so the signification which has been written in majority of the books of palmistry is that heartline originating on the mount of the saturn is going to make someone sensual is going to make someone very sexual which is not true this is going to remain to be the case only when you'll find the heartline to be originating from the tamas world so these people would remain to be too much inclined towards you know uh, egocentric need of comfort and pleasure in any case these people would give preference to kind of sensual pleasures rather than forming um, you know kind of forming a romantic bonds with people and like the way i always say any so ever prediction is always judged by looking other parallel basic modifiers as well so let's say for example you have found this kind of formation and along with that the mount of venus is also risen mount of venus is also aggravated by the presence of negative signs like criss crossing lines or dot or mole so then that is going to aggravate and confirm the possibility that this person is going to remain very sensual as his attitude and approach towards relationship so and one more thing just because this line is getting closer to the line so this person would remain to be very determined in terms of the matters of the heart but for his own selfish gains this person would remain to be very demanding and would remain to be too much you know given to flattery and you know i have also seen in my own research that, that whenever these people's emotions get aroused they kind of do each and every single bit to win over the their object of desire but once they have win over that relationship and very soon and very slowly and steadily they even start losing interest in even in that relationship so that is the case when you will find the heartline to be originating on the tamas world next is let's say any time you will find the heartline to be originating from the midpoint midpoint of the uh, planet uh, mount of the saturn and the mount of the jupiter so let's say for example this is our this is our mount of saturn and this is our mount of jupiter so what is going to happen is that anywhere on this border the heart line is originating so what does this represent this tells about practical kind of approach in love these people would not remain to be too much among those who have this you know have this habit of demonstrating their love in public or not these people would remain to be very foolishly sentimental these people would remain to be very practical just because they will have a blend of the wisdom of saturn and they will also have a blend of you know spirituality faithfulness and loyalty of the uh, planet jupiter so this is the ideal kind of formation for the heartline to have for to heartline to originate this point is also known as the common sense point so these people would remain to be very uh, deep and very profoundly in relationship they will remain to be very practical in all matters of the heart whether in with their uh, friends whether with her, uh, with his or her loved partner so in all matters of the heart and emotions and affection they will have a balanced approach now let's say for example there are some you know unusual combinations which you also need to understand which is let's say for example any point of time you will find the uh, and one more thing which i forgot to tell and let's say along with that you will find the uh, the 
heart line to be originating from the midpoint and along with that one branch going towards the middle of the Jupiter. So what we have is we have the case that the heart line is originating from the midline midpoint of the mount of the Saturn and the mount of the Jupiter and there is one branch which is going to the middle of the Jupiter. So this is the ideal combination the perfect combination where the person will have a you know infusing the qualities of Jupiter but not to the extent of becoming too ambitious too egoistic or too idealistic and with a blend of the planet Saturn. So this is the kind of very blessed kind of combination which you can have for uh, your uh, anyone's hard line to have. Next is the unusual combination which we have already started which is let's say for example any point of time you'll find the origin you know origin of the heart line under the ring finger from the mount of the sun. So let's say something like this. So what does this tell? So very first thing is why I'm saying this thing unusual is because it is very rare to find in people's palm. Second thing is the length of the uh, heart line is getting very shortened. So now what is going to happen is that first thing is that these people would remain to be impulsive. That's one case. Second is even their emotional overtures or you know their emotional out uh, you know outlet would remain to be uh, going with uh, too much of you know emotional highs and lows and impulsiveness we have already dis discussed and even the a little bit of sensuality same like the tamas world of the mount of the saturn would remain in these people's you know attitude as well so this is with when you will find the heartland to be originating on the tamasic world of the mount of the sun so this was the mount of the sun and you have spotted the heartland to be originating from here and let's say the next combination is when you'll find the complete or near absence of the heartland so let's say for example the heartland is not present on the palm so what does this indicate so you know this can indicate three possibilities one is that the utter intensity of the intellect has taken over the sentiments to the point of blind stubbornness you know irrationality kind of ruthlessness and this could also indicate that the person is given to too much of you know negative uh, emotions negative feeling and the last is vulnerability of diseases to the physical organ heart you know i have personally seen in the you know majority of the hands in my own research is that in all those cases in majority of the times what i have seen is that where the heart line is missing and we have already discussed that these people are very much vulnerable to ruthlessness you know a negative feeling and negative emotions and in those hands you will find this kind of formation of line to have so this line is known as the griddle of venus so this line is also known as a you know a parallel uh, heart line or sister heart line as uh, it has been uh, described by majority of the palmist so what does this line represent so the only thing which this line represent is first of all stored pent up nervous energy second is too much of the sensitivity you know this is the kind of combination which you'll find in the hands of majority of the alcoholics and all the druggists all those people who get into drug abuse just because they are you know this kind of storm of confusion and rebelliousness is happening in their mind in their heart that they are always on a lookout of some easy outlet for the release of their energy so this is this uh, this is what this griddle of venus represents so we are going to have a separate and complete detailed discussion on this griddle of venus at the right time so this is the one case which you can spot when the heart line would remain to be completely absent and one more thing you know as you have discussed that these people face kind of problem when it comes to forming one on one relationship with other fellow beings but when it comes to these people and when they take refuge in any kind of idol worship let Let's say any kind of devotion, uh, any kind of you know uh, path of devotion, path of worship, you know embracing any Ishth Deva. These people could do do very good in that, and you know they do their worship to the level of such a great excellence that they become inspiration for other people to follow. So this is with the case when you'll find the complete or near absence of the heart line. Last is let's say for example you'll find the double kind of heart line formation on the on the palm. So what does this represent? this represent too much of the bombardment of the emotions which kind of creates confusion in someone's life so these people you know when it comes to uh, you know their relationship with whether they with their colleagues whether with their partners or even with all the causes which they are deeply committed to they kind of remain always in this confusion and in the introspection mode whether whether they are doing things right whether they are doing things wrong just because of this too much of the bombardment of the emotions which always keep them uh, confused so this is with all the concept related to the origin of the heart line. I hope I made myself very clear in this video. In subsequent videos, we are going to discuss all other aspect and you know concept of the heart line.